do you, the three of you, have to pitch in the larger pitch writing meeting, or are you a separate island? We do everything yeah. with the show. Yeah. We write we write sketches for other cast. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot. Oh, interesting. Yeah. People, people will sometimes be like, oh, you guys play writers on SNL, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no, we are writers yeah. on SNL. Wow. This sounds yeah. humble braggy, but there's there's – a lot of times when somebody goes like, you guys are the only thing on SNL that I like, which is like not true, but they'll right. say that. And then immediately you go like, we write a lot of sketches. Yeah. <laughs> we, we are also the so, other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was listening to you guys on Pete Holmes and one of our goals today is to make this be better than Pete Holmes' sure. interview of you. Yeah. Low bar, dude. Yeah. Easy to do. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> well, Did you listen back to that one? Yeah. I you listened listen to the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, dude, twice. Well, that's why we put Martin here uh -huh. uh, right next to me. Can I touch you? Yeah, yeah, okay. of course. Because we want to make sure Martin talks. <laughs> <laughs> that's been a challenge that uh, no one has risen to yet. Yeah, dude. Well, really? Yeah. So maybe we'll have a lot of slow round questions for you. Uh, okay, great. <laughs> One of my questions for you specifically was um, <laughs> if you got contacts, would it ruin the character of Martin? Yeah, I would look too similar to John. There'd be no <laughs> you think about that? Yeah. yeah. Have you talked about it? Well, he changed his eye color uh, when we started SNL. Yeah, got him dyed. <laughs> Lauren was like, you got to get those balls dyed. <laughs> Dude, those balls. <laughs> you got to get those balls dyed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Huh? The um so yes, yeah, so I was listening to you guys on Pete Holmes and um I was just wanted to make sure it was better, like what we do here <laughs> yeah. is better today. <laughs> sure. So like what would we do right off the bat, like when you guys walked out of the Pete interview, what were you like that was annoying for this reason? I think we felt an immense wave of relief leaving that podcast. <laughs> uh -huh. Because we were like very in our heads about how personal his yeah, podcast yeah. is. Yeah. How like because we don't do that many interviews. I guess we have more lately, but like we haven't talked that much about our real lives. Uh huh. And uh, Martin, know, let's talk to you. <laughs> let's talk to you about your real life. My real life, yeah. All right, we're gonna go around the room. We've never done this before because it's four voices. People are used to two voices on the pod. Uh huh. So Martin, yeah. Say your name, where you grew up, and then something that I that identifies you as being different from these other guys. Uh, Martin, Ridgefield, Connecticut, and glasses. Okay. <laughs> ben? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, no. That was really good. That was really yeah. good. Uh, ben Marshall. Uh, it's Savannah, Georgia. And I'm tall. Oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> Going with uh, just surface level yeah. physical attributes. You guys are blocking already. Jo <laughs> John. Deflect. John. Deflect out of the gate. Italian. We're getting deeper. Yeah. Italian. Ooh, yeah. Did it out of yeah, order. Italian. Don't, Italian. Dude, don't, Sorry. Don't say that. One. Short, <laughs> fatter than the other two. And Montclair, New Jersey. Yeah. Wait, so yeah, we have this odd thing in common, which is that I was in Taylor Swift's music video for Antihero, and then you guys made this awesome short personnel called Three Sad Virgins. Yeah. We worked with both Taylor and Travis Kelsey like oh, before they yes. got together. Yes, so yes. We, and we can cut this out if you guys don't want to say this, but like she... Oh, what should I say? That she kind of told us that she watched his SNL episode. Oh yeah, yeah. And was like, oh. saw him in our video and was like, oh, this guy seems funny. Oh, that's cool. sweet. Yeah. So like, a little bit brought them together, and we were like thinking about maybe saying that on on Fallon, and then we were like, I think that if then they ever break up. We will somehow be like pinned, as, right? Like yeah. causing this disaster, right? <laughs> it's just a very precarious situation, right? People have such strong feelings about them. Do, you know, for me, what was interesting about working with her, and then also like you and I both were in a man called Otto. Fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Otto and, brothers, dude. Yeah, we're Otto brothers. brothers. You guys and were doing a man <laughs> called Otto. <laughs> What was the vibe <laughs> on set? Wait, dude, I have a question. Were you invited to the premiere? Yeah, I was. Oh! It's oh. interesting. Wait, I want to. <laughs> Wait, you didn't get the email? Uh, yeah, it got lost, I think. Oh. In... <laughs> no, oh my God. So I you didn't get invited to the premiere? No, but I don't think that they remembered I was in it. So that's okay. 
Well, they had a list probably <laughs> with your phone number and your email and your address. Yeah, you're in the call sheet. They had all the you're information. In the opening yeah. scene. Yeah. Kind of hard to <laughs> write. I guess I am Can't miss. Yeah. Can't miss. No, but you had a part part. Yes, yeah, sort of. But like you and I both worked with Tom Hanks. Yeah. You worked at the store and <laughs> yeah. I was like this kind of uh, evil real estate man. But like it was funny seeing you as a dick. <laughs> like it, it felt so. You did a great job. Hey. It was so not you. It was like that, no acting. And that's what Mark Forster wanted from the part. He just he's like, wouldn't it be fun if I got someone sort of funny and nice yeah. to play, play like a, a dick? Yeah. Yes, an yeah. asshole. Yeah, you did like, a great job. Thanks, and you too. You were great. But like, but we both yeah, working with like. <laughs> Tom Hanks and <laughs> compliment from Mike. Wait, wait. Are you are you guys both like burning him on taking the compliment? No, he spiked no. the kid. He looked in the he lens. I spiked the lens. Because I got a compliment from Burbank. Uh, <laughs> the uh, no, but but when you work with someone like Taylor Swift or Tom Hanks, yeah. I don't know about you, but I have to actively not be in my head about it. Yeah. And be like, and you had to like, in your case, you're directing Taylor. Did you have any hint of like, oh, we don't want to say the wrong thing. We don't want to direct this in the wrong way. It was, the pitch of it was scarier than her on set. Because yeah. when she came on set, she had already recorded her vocals, which she did such a good job with and she was excited about. So I was in the room and we all were in the room when she was recording her vocals. And she was like, what about if I added something like this? So you could tell that she was excited by it. Uh, yeah. So by that point, when she came on set, it sounded so fun and good. And she's such a good actress and performer that it was just like two takes. And it yeah. was like, oh, interesting. You know, she nailed it really quick. Quickly. Like yeah. what you see was like immediately what she did to the point where everybody was like, I think we got it. Like that kind of vibe. And it wasn't a lie. It was like, that's it. Yeah. We don't need anymore. But it is funny at SNL with like other shorts we've made having an incredibly like famous and esteemed actor who yeah. you're just like on zero sleep and you need a certain thing out of them. So yeah. you kind of just like forget who they are. 100%. Like, hey man, can you just do one where you're just not trying to be funny? Oh my God. Can you just <laughs> do oh one God. straight, please? And you're talking about Bad Bunny. <laughs> well, Bad Bunny didn't need anything. Well, Bad Bunny was another two takes. <laughs> yeah. Bad yeah. Bunny was kind of just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and Bad Bunny actually was asleep during part of it because mm. it was so late at night. He was so and he tired. and it was it so <laughs> helped. Oh, for real? Yes, yeah. and it so it helped, helped his performance because he was just like it would be like, hey uh, Benito, and he'd be like, yeah, and it'd be like just just one more take, and you'd enter the room, hi, and we we're like perfect, <laughs> like like that oh level God. of yeah. like not uh -huh. commitment to it. Yeah, that costume was perfect. What's the thing from the personas of? Please don't destroy. That is that is an exaggeration of the reality of who you are and your dynamic as friends. And what's like a put on? Mm, that's a good question. Yeah, <laughs> I would say that like sometimes I'm like sassy in the videos or like in the movie, and I think I'm kind of sassy in real life. Yeah. Um, so I guess so it's, that. it's like a double sass. Yeah, double sass. Yeah, you uh, up yeah. the sass. Yeah, in the vids in the yeah. movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like you're the outspoken one. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. And then kaput, I don't know. Nothing. I'm fucking put? put my life on the line. Isn't that what you said? Something that's kaput? No. What, what? did you no say before? You just pulled kaput out of the... <laughs> I thought you said something that you exaggerate, then something that you don't. That's like a put on? Oh, Maybe. I said kaput. A put on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Martin had to call you out on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was... Kaput. You really misheard that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and I don't let that shit slide. No. Thanks for getting that. in there. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Because I know you would have done it if I didn't do it, so I, you know. Something just... bad is happening where you guys are teaming up. Yeah, that is what we're <laughs> Alliance Martin. forming. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> we're even going to get a separate dinner after this. Oh, wow. The You know what's funny about you guys is like, I remember like messaging with John like a while back, and my first impression of you guys was just like, you don't mess. That's with your, oh, with your shorts on SNL. I'm like, you don't mess. I, I, and I'm like, I, it's baffling to me because you guys are, age 25 to 29 ish yep. right and it's like when i was 25 to 29 i missed a lot <laughs> <laughs> no nope uh, nope <laughs> nope I think, that's how I, I think when do you miss, miss? when do you we... miss do you miss in high school college definitely missed in high school and college <laughs> <laughs> yeah no doubt but i think we still miss yeah and we just that a lot of that shit gets cut out or doesn't like air yeah you know oh interesting gets shot down at some point that's kind of a lucky thing. Like people yeah. talk about like, is there anything 
that you guys so badly wanted to get on the mm-hmm. show that that just wouldn't wasn't quite working you just couldn't get on and it's like not really because if it's not working it's like kind of embarrassing like you don't yeah, want yeah, something to go yeah. through really that's like i don't think we've ever had something that didn't do well that we've been like fuck them like yeah. we're, we're right we're yeah. nearly always like and you've said this before mark but we're nearly always like yeah no you were you were right that mm. sucked Totally. Especially when Martin you're coming up, always with... points that out. <laughs> <laughs> How Stop. stupid we are! <laughs> yeah, Martin, Martin's Martin. a genius. Pretty observant. Martin and I have decided <laughs> that we're gonna break off uh, from the so... four-person oh. sketch comedy group that we have here. God damn it! And do a duo. <laughs> you guys really do. It feel. I feel it. What if you guys did like confessional storytelling yeah, together? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing Dude. could make me more uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you, well, it's funny. Fallon, Jimmy Fallon, yeah. who's my friend, was the person who told me about you guys and when you guys were like hired on the show. Yeah. And he was literally like your dad. He's like, yeah. Higgins' is his son has a sketch group. He and they're, was. They're fucking hilarious. And I swear to God. In my mind, I go, yeah, they're probably not good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That's what I got. This is my yeah, total, yeah, yeah. exact experience of this. And then <laughs> and then I watch it the show. I'm like, immediate convert. <laughs> <laughs> immediate convert. I went total 180. Wow. Do you feel like coming in, you were in your head about that? Because your dad is a bit of, of a comedy legend. Yeah, I not in your head and because... your dad is like a chiropractor uh yeah yeah that's what we're telling people uh. I, I don't think that it was it was so in my head or in all of our heads that it almost wasn't because it was just like oh there's no way that you're gonna if i heard that about somebody else i would be like fuck that yeah shit. of course yeah mm. that's just what you do but then so it's just like you kind of accept it and understand how like like how lucky you actually are and it's kind of just easier to process and then to just keep working i think so it was like you think about it all the time so much that you don't almost yeah if that makes any sense not really no <laughs> martin <laughs> yeah i mean i we just are we work a lot i yeah. think and yeah. then, so it just like is something that by the way is like our favorite thing like finding out that someone didn't like us upon hearing about yeah, us yeah, yeah. and then watch the shit and liked it. Yeah, you yeah. want to flip that's, people. That's, that's, the, best. that's yeah, better the than best. like people not caring. Yeah. That's people exactly. hating us and then liking yeah. us. Yes. Um, it's like literally as a stand up comedian, it's my favorite thing. You walk into a room, person dead faced, and by totally, the end, they're yeah, just like yeah. losing it. It, yeah. it, it. There's nothing that feels better. Yeah. But like, so when you guys, do you guys put, do you, is your goal to put one on every week? Yeah. We write one every week. Yeah. You write one every week? Yeah. Do you, the three of you, have to pitch in the larger pitch writing meeting, or are you a separate island? We do everything yeah. with the show. Yeah. We write we write sketches for other cast Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot. Oh, interesting. Yeah. People, people will sometimes be like, oh, you guys play writers on SNL, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no, we are writers yeah. on SNL. Wow. This sounds yeah. humble braggy, but there's there's... A lot of times when somebody goes like, you guys are the only thing on SNL that I like, which is like not true, but they'll right. say that. And then immediately you go like, we write a lot of sketches. For the <laughs> yeah. show. We, we are also the so, other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. It, it, it's supposed to be a compliment. And it's like, well, we're there. Yeah. Well, it's funny. Like Seth Meyers always says this thing because he wrote for the show for so many years and hosted a weekend to update and everything. But like, that like it's all like SNL and I think this is true it's like it's always has some great sketches some bad sketches and some okay sketches like totally, almost totally. every episode episode in the history the Farley years the Chevy yeah. Chase years like it never was a hundred percent by na- by mm-hmm. the nature of what the show is sometimes I'm like I'm gonna go back and binge watch SNL and just like <laughs> go through like seasons of full yep. episodes Full episodes of SNL are exhausting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. Totally like hard. back to back, it's like, oh my god, <laughs> this is like tiring. How, how are these people like watching a full episode live and then like tweeting like, hasn't been good since '75? <laughs> you just sat, you just watched that whole thing, and then came to the same conclusion you walked in with. Yeah, <laughs> I would never. By the way, great point, Martin. 
Thank you. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Oh, I really appreciate that. <laughs> no, I mean, I just feel like the two of you blabbering on and on. Yeah, Meanwhile, yeah. Martin barely says anything. Yeah, and I cut in with a perfect it's just observation. The exact. <laughs> that no one's made before, by the way. <laughs> no one has ever criticized the people who say that no, SNL hasn't no been good since the 70s. That, no. no, yeah. No one who works at SNL. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the, so you guys came up with this crazy class of. Iowa Debris and Rachel Senate and like all these people who were at NYU were great. Yeah. When you were there and like more, right? Yeah. 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 Chloe Trost. Chloe Trost yes. who's on the yes. show was great. Uh, but like when you were there, did you know? Were you like, nah, it's good. <laughs> we're, we're like, be- this is better than other college theater programs. A little you bit. Kind of There did. was that uh, energy of like. I remember us going to, because John and I were on a sketch group called Hammercats at NYU, which was like. I know. I remember when Donald Glover was in it. Yeah, he started it. When wow. I, yeah, when yeah. I was. Oh, because they did. When some... I was coming up at UCB yeah. with my group Little Man, Donald Glover used to improvise so at UCB funny. with Hammercats. That's yeah. so and crazy. And was great. Yeah. And he was yeah. like 20. Yeah. We're all like, Donald Glover's really good. Like, this <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> and now he's. You know, now he's like an international phenomenon. Yeah. But like, yeah, so you were in Hammercats. We were in that, but we would do uh, like college comedy festivals at like Skidmore and Brown and stuff. Yeah. And the vibe from everyone else was that they hated the NYU groups for being like, like pretentious. Like, yeah. we're in I can the see city, that. Yeah. we're doing comedy mm, for totally. real. Like, I think there was like a snobbiness to that. Like, like we're we're doing it. Yeah, we're in the city. I don't know. I feel like because I came up like I cast Nick Kroll at Georgetown Improv. Yeah. And Nick Kroll ended up casting John Mulaney and Jacqueline Novak. And there's a handful of other people. Yeah. Who, yeah. who are from that universe. And I feel like like I have one friend, Chris, and, and don't think twice my movie. Like there's a character who like leaves show business, leave, com- leaves comedy. Yeah. And that was my friend, Chris. Yeah. Who I'm still friends with. I talked to the other night. And like we were like, he's the best. Yep. And then he just <laughs> left. Uh-huh. I literally said to him after a show at UCB one night, we were at McManus Bar, like on 19th Street. And uh-huh. I was just like, I go, Chris, you don't understand. Like, we're going to make it. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, he was going to move back uh-huh. to totally. Naperville, Illinois with his girlfriend and their kid. And oh. like, you don't understand. We're going to make it. He was like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> He literally said, I don't, he goes, you might be right. He goes, but I look around and it was like a room full of like, literally like SNL cast members and yeah. people like that. And I look around at the people who've made it and like, no, 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 I don't want their life. God damn. You have anyone like that at NYU where you're like, I can't, you don't have to name names, but where you're like, I, I can't believe they left it. Wow. Yes. Definitely. Mm. You do? Yeah. I yeah, think so. Definitely. I mean, I'm think- I don't want to say a specific. People, no, I get but, it. But I get it. I'm 45, so I can bring it up now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of like specific people who were so funny that just like. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't need it. And then you envy that so much more. They're like, oh, yeah, I have. I know I'm super funny and I don't need people the affirmation. Like, mm-hmm. the, yeah. The constant like reassurance. And you ever try and talk anyone into staying in comedy? No, because I know that it's not like I'm like good for you. Oh, yeah. I'm like jealous, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's Anybody who is like you earnestly feel that they're like no, I it's just I love being funny and doing shows, but I don't want to go through that hell of trying to find a career. It's like that's amazing. Like yeah, it's so cool to just bow out. Yeah. on top in a way. Yeah, yeah, it's great. That's why we're leaving the industry next year. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because we reached the top. Yeah. <laughs> I was at the John. taping of one of your specials. Were you really? Yeah. Which I was one? at. Thank God for one jokes. of the ones. Thank one God for jokes. At Bam? I think, I think it was Thank God for Bam jokes. Harvey. Yeah. At Bam. And it was with the, the lady cop guy. Yeah, that's what I remember seeing you in the footage. No, you don't. As you're saying it right now, no, I remember don't. seeing you in the footage. <laughs> no, you don't. Are you? Yes, in I the do. Special? Is he? Do you I cut to be. the audience? I think you are. 
Wow. I didn't realize until he's saying it, but you know, when you edit, as you know, you guys uh, edit, just edit a movie, crazy. you spend that's so much time with the so footage. You're, I mean, you're literally spending like 65 hours yeah, with the yeah. footage, you know? So it was like, yeah, I remember, I remember you. Wow. Oh my God. What if all the footage so... was me just like. <laughs> well, so I just, not in. I think what I want Ben to do is just reference this in more of his interviews. Yeah. So like, when just I be like, was first coming up and I <laughs> was a featured extra in my Birbiglia's <laughs> Thank God featured. for Jokes special. <laughs> Were you in, co- you were in college? I think I was point. in college. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it was 2016. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was and, just a fan. That's so nice. And I am not anymore, but it's no. Wait. so cool. To- <laughs> Why would you? Maybe we're going to cut that. But yeah. um. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. Yeah, um, of course. Of crowd. course, man. <laughs> what were you saying? No, but Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Something Taylor about Swift. Taylor was like, we were all <laughs> like, she's the best at everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But uh, no, but you came you came to my Thank God for Jokes thing, and you guys, you talked about this on Pete Holmes, but we're going to break it apart in a sort of a more elegant way on this sure. podcast. Okay. Yeah. Yep. You did stand up before. Yes, Martin we did. did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And what what was that like? I only did it for probably like two years. Um, but yeah, it was great. Do you think you'd do it again? No, I don't think oh. so. I think it'd be, I would like to, like as a thing, it seems like an exciting like way to write and perform, but I would be so embarrassed at how bad I would be. Like, like starting, starting again. Starting yeah. again. Martin, <laughs> I'd like to mentor you. Whoa, whoa. Dude, oh, I hope this isn't it is. weird. It is. <laughs> I'd like to mentor you. Yeah, I'd like to take you out on the road in the off season, not during SNL. That sounds good to me. I mean, we have plans, but I, I, we can push them. Yeah, the I, I don't know if you were going to do another movie next summer, but <laughs> I was touring with Sebastian Maniscalco. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, what is the uh, what is the actual when you guys burn each other mm-hmm. as friends? What's your burn of one another? What's your real well, burn? John's Johnny Showbiz. I mean, John, <laughs> so I'll just call it like I sees it. Is do you think that's what you are? No, like, that's my character. Oh right, right. Yeah, but yeah. what's your burn? In real, like in real life, do you guys make fun of John for being Johnny Showbiz? You know what? They make fun of me for. I say words wrong a lot. Like the oh, the kaput oh, was an right. example of that. Yeah. Well, wait. What did you say earlier today? <laughs> oh, you wheels one. for well, meals. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, <laughs> wheels for meals. Uh, wheels for meals. I'll do Versus that constantly. Versus wheels, wheels, meals on wheels. Yeah. Which yeah, yeah. is our which is our charity. wheels for meals. That's a, well, that's an exchange program where we where they exchange cars for food. <laughs> yeah. No, it's oil. It's been, yeah, it's oil. Yeah, oil for meals food. for wheels is oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 At the end of the day, it's <laughs> yeah. oil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's oil for food. <laughs> wait. So wait. Then what's the burn on you? What's Ben's burn? It's not as I don't think what's that the it's, real life one. I would say I make fun of. John for uh, going to Paris all the time. I love and Paris. I realized yeah. that ultimately that's making fun of me for not <laughs> living my life that way. Uh, <laughs> do you really go to Paris a lot? As much as I can. John will like on the oh Sunday we get off of SNL for a hiatus. He's like, I, I got to go. I'm leaving the country. <laughs> I just zip out of here. You really do go to Paris. Yeah. Do you speak French? Nope. This is absurd. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> you just like it there. You want to live big, live well. Yeah, I get you it. You can do it. <laughs> Say no this more. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, and then what's Ben's? What's Ben's? It's not. I don't know. That's Come on, like, you guys are holding like out because you guys make fun of each other. Yeah, definitely. We definitely do, of, like, but it's not like a go-to. It's not like a thing. You know what I mean? It's not like. You know a, what I was thinking of that I. This isn't even what you were asking, but I, I was listening <laughs> to the John Hurley episode, and it was, what is something that you like about yourself? Something that people find annoying about you yeah. or whatever. And I thought of the most annoying thing that I do, which is when you guys or any group of friends is like shit talking somebody, mm-hmm. I I have this like horrible like urge to go like, yeah, but he's, I mean, he's a pretty nice guy. <laughs> and then everybody's like, why do that? <laughs> do you guys notice that? Not really. Really? No. I, feel I don't like think I've... you've ever stood up for anybody. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, wasn't yeah. that. I was like, the worst quality about myself is standing up. <laughs> that is that no. Is. I meant like I know you know you when mean. you're like when you like ruin a like a ragging like, on no, someone in a fun yeah, way, yeah. and then it's like that's funny. I have like this superstition about like you have to talking be like, bad about somebody behind their back will like fuck you up. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know. Cut this whole part out. <laughs> feel like an idiot. No, I think it was circle take. <laughs> Can we just delete that? When you're pitching to the larger casting and, and writers, who takes the lead on the pitch? We each pitch. We each have Oh, to you do? Yeah, in yeah. Lauren's yeah. office. Yeah. You, yeah. You're talking about that, like the Monday meeting yeah. with the host? Yeah. Yeah. We, everybody has to do we it. We do it. But when they what, come, is, what about when it's the, the video? The oh, they come to our room separately. Yeah. Usually oh, okay. on the Monday pitch meetings, we're not pitching real ideas. Yes. Okay. It's more yeah, just yeah. like something to make the room laugh than yeah. like a real sketch you're working on that week. And we're not that good at it. Oh, really? Yeah, we bomb a lot. No. <laughs> we're pretty good at it. I think we're decent at it, but like, it's like a, it's every Monday, it's like, dude, we have fucking pitch again. And it's just like the worst feeling. Because you have like, to think of like five real ideas and then you're like, oh, I forgot I have to think of a fake idea. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So like with the, the Bad Bunny dressing up as Shrek, for example, yeah. which I love, like yeah. what, is that separate with Bad Bunny kind of thing? That like, one we just wrote yeah. at like one in the morning or whatever. And then we read it at the big table read with everybody, but we didn't pitch it to Bad Bunny or anybody verbally before yeah. writing what was the kernel on that it's, it's I, martin I, oh it it's is your buddy martin, it was, <laughs> <laughs> it's your buddy martin. <laughs> well i want to say like like i want to compliment martin basically on everything <laughs> basically on everything you do but like specifically when it comes to the bad bunny being track sketch is like it did it didn't get me at first i was like Come on. And then I'm crying. I'm crying by the end. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> what, what switched you? Like, okay, here's what didn't get me at the jump. Okay. He's in the costume at jump. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? So you're like, all right, mm-hmm. can you mm-hmm. follow the costume? Yeah. Kind of thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then I think it's when you're dressed up as Michael Jackson. Yeah. Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 Wait, so Martin, let's focus on you. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. Like, what? Where did it come from? I think that the the kernel part that you didn't like at the beginning that I think was what I brought. That's <laughs> <it>. That was <laughs> your idea. <laughs> 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 and then how? But yeah. has it developed from the kernel to what we see? Because basically, for the listeners, I mean, people can watch this really quickly on YouTube. But it's like, but it's like Bad Bunny basically comes to your office mm-hmm. and is in a, a Shrek. Costume. costume fully garbed yes. like yeah. like a yeah. guy like at disney world kind yes. of thing. Uh, and you're like so you want to do something like a sketch or something and he's kind of like no like he just plays a straight man says like no he's, he's yeah, being he won't really admit coy how much, <laughs> he won't admit how much he loves shrek <laughs> even though he's in the full right yeah. costume. We're like okay let's start from square one you love the shrek movies mm. not really <laughs> yes yes <laughs> <laughs> i think honestly like what kind of got us into that like attitude for him was like he is not a native english speaker yeah there were like there was a lot of like rumblings of like oh my god like this might be like a challenging week like yeah 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 like having trouble a little bit communicating with some people people were pitching him ideas and it didn't seem like he was totally getting them or whatever but he still had this like very mellow like energy of like yeah i'm down for whatever he was an amazing guy yeah but then we were like god there is just like a layer of like it? disconnect in the communication that we could try to utilize. Yeah. And bas- and you use that because basically he's like you 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 can't connect with him. Yeah. You're like you want to do something with yeah. Shrek and he's like yeah. a little bit. He's very, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He's also very like cool and aloof and yes. it was hard to like parse what was like he didn't understand me or he's not reacting cuz he's like such a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think one of my favorite things about your shorts is like the way you guys act is so real to how it would be if a guy showed up as <laughs> dressed up as Shrek. <laughs> like it's like, and like there's something, the, at, the performances, I don't want to dwell on performances because it's just like one of those things. It's like you either lock into someone's performance or you don't, but like I really lock in because I'm like, this feels so grounded. Do you ever direct each other like, hey Ben, Let's do that one again. Just take 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 it back. 
You know, it's like take it down a notch. Big time. All the you time. Do? Yeah. yeah. And we can be very direct with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a do, a do one way smaller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like if anyone else said that, I'd be like, hey, come on. Uh, like, totally. But, but with uh, you guys, it's just like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like We've, you get in terms of like burning each other, you can say to somebody like, hey, do it where it doesn't like sound like shit this time. And you like kind of like you laugh and you get it of like, yeah, that one sucked. Like we're all on the team of trying to make this thing great. So it like does. It's not going to hurt my feelings if that thing wasn't good. What's funny is, is I was thinking that I, I, I said to my wife, Jenny, I go like, what would you ask the please don't destroy boys, which is what Sarah Sherman calls you when mm-hmm. she was on the podcast. She calls you boys. Yep. I you offended by it? You. No. You like boys. Yeah. You don't mind it. It's what we are. Boys. The, the please don't destroy men feels a little yeah, aggressive. Scary. It's like a gang. Right. <laughs> Right. Please don't so, destroy men. So, so I, a, yeah, John's <laughs> slogan. <laughs> <laughs> so please don't destroy boys. Come on. So, so please don't destroy boys. I said to Jenny, I go like, what? What would be your thing that you would ask? What would be your burning question? And I thought it was really cool. She goes like, it's like that. You guys were all together today. The mm-hmm. four of us are just here in this room, mm-hmm. and it's like in a certain way. It's a moment at a time, mm-hmm. right? So it's like, so it's like you look at like Lonely Island. Like, I, I'm friendly with all those guys. It's pretty hard to get them all in the same room together. Mm. They're all they all have families now, wives and children. Like, they live on different coasts. And it's like, do you guys ever have this moment of like, oh, this is it? This is the moment at a time. Jake Nordwind, who's a writer at SNL, <laughs> will constantly say that these are our salad days. Yep. And he's like doing it as a bit at this point of like when everyone's like miserable and stressed, he's like, these are our salad days. <laughs> <laughs> but it is like true. Like I do I totally feel, feel like this way. is, yeah. It's like the coolest job I, that I could have ever dreamed of having and doing it with my best friends is really cool. Yeah. It's especially SNL where it's like, you only have so many hours Yeah, and it's so, you can like forget how like fun it is with how stressful it is. Yeah. But every Saturday after the show's over, there's this writer, Gary Richardson, who like, I love Gary. He's the best. He was in, don't he's think, in Delta yeah. Twice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the funniest dude. Ever. I like, used to oh, improvise dude. with him a little bit. He, yeah. Oh, <clears throat> when we were getting ready for that movie, we would improvise with him. And he's, he's so he's brilliant, funny unreal, and, brilliant. and has the a best, really dude. good, like, kind of like regarding this he has like a this idea of like salad days or whatever he has a good vibe of just kind of like hanging out and having fun and yeah you can see that he relishes in it and he does this thing we do this thing called writer's good nights where it's after the show it started as a bit of like when the the cast is all hugging each other on stage we were in the writer's room going like should we just go down there Aww. like the writers <laughs> and then but it turned into a thing where gary gives this like pump up speech about like what we did that week and then what we're going to do for the next week and it's all very ironic and stupid but it feels like this is the most fun you could ever have like oh yeah beautiful yeah it's great okay slow round this uh-huh. is called the slow round okay what martin what are people's favorite and least favorite things about you uh oh man oh i know i maybe least favorite maybe there are things that people dislike more about me uh but i think i can i can kind of if you can believe it sometimes i can ramble sometimes i'm very like is dude is not true i am at all. shocked by this answer <laughs> <laughs> you're really? not doing a bit no do i not because I've been really worried about this. <laughs> ben, you need to respect Martin. I do. No, no. If it's not a problem, I'm... That's I'm... so funny. No, I just thought you were doing a bit about how like you're the quiet one. No. And, like, people, what people don't like about you is that you ramble. I feel like when I'm explaining, I'm so worried about a point getting misconstrued that I like am really... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Will like, really double back and like go over every detail of what Which I'm is saying. why all of your answers today have been whittled to perfection. <laughs> and I thank you. Oh my you god. You guys, the two of you. I hate this dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, this is the first time we've had four microphones, four chairs. We had to decide. Originally, it was like going to be three of you on one side and just me and the other. And we're like, like yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It is weird. That is a bit. Or dance we, off, you know. Yeah. That we always do with like 
when we were on late night shows or like even like photos getting taken for a movie, it'll be like, great. So we were thinking, John, you just come up front here and like Ben and Martin. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, just back, just back up a little more. Uh, so yeah. Fun. A lady did that on our movie. And, and we were like, like yep, doing just like... back up a little more. Okay. Yep. And then John so just get funny. closer. So, and what's your, what's people's favorite thing about you, Martin? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, oh, fuck. Keep it all in. Keep it all in. Keep the air. I'm going to keep the humble. air. Keep the air. <laughs> keep the air in. Uh, I think maybe I really enjoy writing. And I think I, uh, oh, fuck. I really enjoy writing <laughs> is what people like most about oh. you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Martin, <laughs> Martin, there's, a, we got a big problem dude, here. Dude, dude, just say I'm, something. I'm hair, hair, hair. <laughs> <laughs> there you go that's it oh boy i really enjoy writing is your answer i really enjoy writing is your answer that well you're so martin i'm sorry i just feel like we're so close at this point that i feel like i can tell you yeah. that like you're just blocking out the compliments of your life oh god why don't you why don't you guys save him then what's your favorite no. what's your favorite thing what's his favorite writing's thing? great his hair is good mine is that he enjoys writing <laughs> well what i meant by that is... mine is that he enjoys writing i think sometimes i'm a i'm a fun vibe in the room hey You're there funny. you go I like that. you love i, like that. I feel like that's people, a real answer martin people yeah. i want oh, i want you. more of that out of you <laughs> people who who don't who just know you from like your work wouldn't know that you were like life of the party a little bit. Oh, can be in certain situations in a writing. Scenario. No, oh, come on. Can we cut all this? No out? way. This is the literally the best part of the oh, whole interview. Man, the only part that's been good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you go. No, that's good though. Life. Of the, I I think he did admit that, that he's a that, good vibe. Yeah. And then you sure. guys affirmed that he's a life of the party kind of guy. No doubt. Unexpectedly. In contrast to his, it is it is on screen persona. <laughs> it is an intense question, in yeah. a good way. I like What's it. yours? Least. What are people's least and most favorite I things about tried you? Tried answering this earlier before you even asked it, and it didn't go well. Mm. Remember mm -hmm. the shit talking thing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, favorite. Uh, wait, it's ask me the question more. Time. What are what what are people's favorite and least favorite things about you? I think I can be a. Oh God, it is hard, isn't it's it? It's really hard. I think I can be like a calming presence. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. Yeah. When we blow stuff up, you'll be like, "Let's just." I think I'm level-headed yep. sometimes. Um. This is, I'm doing, I enjoy writing. <laughs> I'm doing that, aren't I? I enjoy writing. I think I'm, I think I'm funny and nice and, uh, you know. All right. Funny and nice. What, what am I supposed to say? What is yours? Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I think that uh, what people like about me often is that um, I'm open emotionally. And I think in my comedy, I, I try to do that. I try to be open emotionally. God, that's a good answer. Uh, I think that people like that about you. Yeah, but I think I think it's a double edged sword. <laughs> <laughs> you just do a double take to the to the lens. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> no, I totally think that that. But then it's a double edged sword because I think that I it, it's the I I also sometimes cannot shut it off. Mm -hmm. Where it's like I'm reading in to the emotion of a situation to a degree where I'm like, oh, this is too much. Like I'm mm. kind of unbearable. Can, uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. And not trying sure, to yeah. deflect, deflect to from it. you yes. being the third person of this question. When and you then I'm going to go again. Yeah. <laughs> if you go again, <laughs> <laughs> do you, when you do a podcast is a good podcast to you, one that is more emotionally resonant or one that's really funny? Well, it's interesting. The, you know, uh, recently, like, you know, John Early was on and, and I, the emotional parts of that I found to be most interesting. He was talking about like 
like missing his sexual prime and we kind of it's a joke in his special which is uh -huh. hilarious but then we're kind of unpacking that a little bit and uh -huh. i think that's in some ways that's the part i love yeah i love i love funny people opening up yeah yeah that's kind of what i'm into yeah look at all of our body language right now <laughs> does this look yeah. like guys who have been opening up i'm opened up <laughs> is mine open or closed i'm not you're both closed you're both you're both can we all say it about each other it feels like yeah that's yeah that's... yeah yeah so what's yours about john my favorite thing about John is that he is the life of the party. Oh, that's nice. that's nice. I think people love being around him. That's sweet. And I, I, I'm, I count me as one of those people. Whoa. That's nice. That's super nice. John is the ultimate, like, friend. Oh. Like, everybody is, everybody feels like John is their friend. And he's very good at connecting with people, making them feel special. That's super sweet. Can I say what my, I was going to say? My answer. bad, yeah. my least favorite thing about me? Yeah. Sometimes I bring people in too close and I can seem obnoxious or mean. And that's my least favorite part about me. C through trying to connect to somebody. Like in other words, you're doing a bit with someone and it kind of goes too far. Yeah, like like especially in college, like making these guys laugh would be like my goal. So then it would be like, I would just be like crazy at a party or something like that. Like let's steal these beers, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> yeah, I was thinking about that recently where like I was I was like, oh, I remember in college being in class sometimes, and then I remember uh, being in a shopping cart on M Street <laughs> <laughs> at three yeah. in the morning. Like the, the, the huh. things you remember yeah. are just like yeah. not what you choose. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Do you guys remember? Like, it's so funny. Like, I always ask this question on the show. Like, what what's an inauthentic version of yourself from your life? And like, mm -hmm. a lot of times, like, when I do myself, it's like when I'm your age. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it was weird talking to you guys because it's like. Do you guys have that from when you're younger? Or do you sometimes now go like, oh my God, I'm actually living a thing that I'm gonna be embarrassed of later. Oh, I think about that all the time. Yeah. I am embarrassed of every previous version of myself. Me yeah. too. And it's like on a, such a short timeline too. Like okay. in like two months, I'll, if I listen to this tomorrow, I would be like, yeah, yeah. I hate this guy. <laughs> I just I think that's just like the nature of growth though is like you're changing as and growing as a person and then you look back and you're like cringing at who you thought you were. And... Yeah. Yeah. I think that the goal is that those like it gets smaller and smaller yeah. where it's like it, I look back on a version of myself in college that I'm like I don't even know who that person is. Like I would wear a tweed blazer because I was trying to like be old. Like there's so much sure. of that stuff where it's like hopefully now it's like Oh, I didn't need to think that way about my relationship with my mom or you know what I mean? like like stuff that is more mm -hmm. just like emotional and like easier to instead of like your truly different personality and that matches like what you're wearing like entirely different versions of yourself or right. something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can you remember a time in your life where you were so afraid you uh, ran away? I almost Who? got mugged and <clears throat> ran away. From where to where? It was in I think it was in like Lower East Side, maybe Chinatown. I was like walking around on the phone really late at night, and like these two guys on bikes um, seemed like they were gonna mug me, so I ran. And then I like stop. I, that's funny. I haven't thought about this. I like stopped a couple, and I was like, "These guys are on bikes, and they're and, and they thought I was on drugs because they were like, we don't know what you're saying. Yeah. We're what? We're not on the same side. We don't yet. see anyone. Yeah. Like." You seem like the dangerous person yeah. to us right. right now. Well, they're just on bikes. Yeah. <clears throat> they were just two Acor guys Even on according bikes. to your story, they're not malicious in any way, <laughs> shape, or form. Two guys on bikes. But they were like, we, they were like, they said they were stuff. They were talking Hello. smack to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that, hey, Hi. how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey. no! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Evening. Martin, have you ever run away from something? You know, I briskly, that reminded me of a time that I briskly walked away uh, when I was talking. It was night. I was in Central Park. Uh, I was talking to a stranger and for about 20 minutes and then I looked down and he was jerking off. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> Didn't even get a run out of Martin. 20 minutes? Didn't even get a run out of Martin. I said, oh, brisk, well, brisk walk. Oh, he started that. following me and then I went into a lobby of a building yeah. that I didn't live at. So I could <gasps> wait out. Slowly, we realize Martin is live. the man. Did you ever, was there a group that wouldn't let you in when you were a kid? Hammercats, the sketch group they were talking about. <laughs> Wait, did they not let you in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So your college sketch group that you guys were in, Martin wasn't in. Yeah. But then we, later that year, my freshman year, started working together. Mm -hmm. Just off separately from the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Because it because you were just friends? That he didn't get on? No, that you started working together. Oh, you oh. You just were like buddies from school? Yeah, ben, we, ben started, us together. we We were doing stand-up. Yeah. Uh, and then that he knew John through Hammer Cats. So. But I didn't really know you when you auditioned. No, no. No, not. that's what I was going to say. We didn't. I didn't know Martin when he auditioned. Yeah. So he's just some random guy with a bad audition. You don't think uh -huh. twice about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, it was terrible. I was so scared and so like this, like low energy, and kind of the way that I am now. <laughs> but it's weird that what the end result is that you're the best one in the group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't life funny? That is funny. <laughs> Damn. It's all so whimsical. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was the group that you guys did then that you didn't get let into? I don't know. I guess I remember asking my friend when I was in like grade school if he could help me become popular. And, <laughs> and I remember that feeling like you're a part of something I'm not a part of. Not a real group, but just... Yeah. I'm a little bit taking a liberty with the question. No, I like that though. That's a that's a did good initiative you, you took. Did you go like, dude? Can I talk to you about something? For real, <laughs> fully. <laughs> I was probably in like third grade. Oh, oh, like, oh, right. Oh. I think I thought it was high school. So, yeah, for it. Oh, so, no. so, you're in high school. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in third so grade and you identify you. that there's a social group that yeah. you're not included in, but yeah. you'd like to be a part of it. Yeah, and you kind. Of, I, it seems like kind of a grown-up thing to do just be like hey, hey help me out hey i'd like to be a part of this <laughs> give me some advice you can invite me in it uh, is such a perfect innocent third yeah. grader thing to do just like i noticed you guys are all... <laughs> how can i enter that there's something to that though yeah yeah like i remember him one time threatening to tell everybody that i had asked him that and I was like, oh fuck <laughs> damn that sucks yeah that's um. Go ahead. What's his name? Where does he live? Address. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, there's there is something to that because I will say like, like one of the best pieces of advice, and we always ask this in slow round, is like, what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given that you used? And like, for me, it's like, tell people what your dreams are. Mm -hmm. Tell people you care about that your what your dreams are because otherwise there's two things that could happen one is they support it the other one is they don't support it <laughs> yeah, um, yeah and either of those is actually fine yeah because the, 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 they don't support it is it's a little bit embarrassing but who cares yeah the show business is embarrassing anyway yeah <laughs> like the, the good totally. case scenario is you tell them your dream they go oh you know actually my buddy's doing a sketch thing and maybe they'd want to have you do something like Martin. Yeah. And then you're working with Martin. But like, I actually, th there is something to your third grade self that like had, I think, the right idea. Hey, I'd love to yeah. be considered uh, part of the group. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What about you, John? Um, I wasn't made fun of at all until freshman year. This is like kind of like Ben's answer where it wasn't a group, just like a cool group of people. And I was finally like made fun of and bullied my freshman year of high school. And I was because of like videos and stuff, which Ben has a similar story too of like making YouTube videos and people shitting on them. Yeah. And, um, but then I sang a Katy Perry song at a school, um, talent show and I won them all over because it was like everybody knew that I was being bullied. Like I had to go to the dean about it and stuff. So I was like, the best thing I could do is like own it and pretend like, I'm hurt, and then I sing a song. That's also a good instinct. Yep. Yeah. Johnny Showbiz was born. Yeah. Yep. You. Th what, what's the? You three are real winners. <laughs> 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 like your answers are even like they they represent like a good instinct, even when you're younger. <laughs> like you're the loser in the story, but actually yeah. you're victorious. Yeah. No, you became the king. Yeah. It was, it was. It was literally awesome. Crushed. It was probably hilarious. It was. It was the bit of. If it was in a movie, it would be earnestly like, I'm just going to sing anyway. And I like had that emotion as I was singing. Do you ever feel 
Like a plastic bag. <laughs> and like people were like, oh, he's making fun of the fact that we made fun of him. Wow. Yeah. Humble brag, he's got a good voice too. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. What? Wait, well, what? Not, <laughs> not, <laughs> well, not, well, wait. <laughs> Maybe we'll try to end on best piece of advice you've ever used. Mm. That you've been given, that you used, either in life or comedy or anything. I'm curious to hear Martin's answer. The first thing that comes to mind is uh, when we were starting, Carmen Christopher was really, really good to us. Uh, he's a comedian who's like hilarious, really funny mm -hmm. in LA. And um, he, there was a time where we were talking after a show and I told him that I didn't like performing and he was like, you should just keep doing it. And uh, like, trust me, like just keep performing and don't, don't just like write or whatever. And I was like, you know, it, it meant like the world to me because yeah. he is like the funniest dude still. And at that time, and I'm like 18 or whatever, like that was yeah. sick. I love and, that. Yeah. Wow. That I mean, it's very similar to like when young comics ask me like advice. I just go, the best thing you can do is keep doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like w when I witness the trajectory of like being in stand up comedy for 25 years, it's like the people who endure are the people who keep going and yeah, like totally. literally their careers go like this and they just hang on yeah and then they and a lot of times they get really good and even people you guys will probably experience this down the road it's like people you underestimate and you're like oh. person's kind of a hack and then they, they like find it yeah dude for sure that exact thing happened with john yeah and it's been so <laughs> fun. Cool to see him just like get I through know, that. I know. Yeah. And you still see it, obviously. You, you see, see the, the, the you remnants know, he of it, but it's just. Yeah. <laughs> You've yeah, really hung on, ride, man. Dude. You really yeah. hung on. Just keep going. What about you, Ben? Well, two things, and I don't know. I guess that it was kind of from a bunch of people, but just start your own show. Like, so you can mm -hmm. book people, you can meet other comedians, you have a consistent place to perform. Yes. That's like yeah. the biggest thing. Start your own show. Just yeah. Start it. Start and by the show. way, people listening anywhere. Yeah. Totally. Seattle, Cincinnati. Find a bar. Dallas. Yes. It's yeah. like, yeah, find a bar. Be like, hey, can I split the door with you? Totally. We do a Monday night, yeah. do stand up. Yeah. I, I it's a really great feel piece of advice. Like we didn't do, we made videos like, like kind of more like short films before we, like the TikTok or Twitter stuff. And we mostly did live shows every week we did a weekly show and we did that for so long and i really think like doing comedy live even if it's sketch or improv or whatever really you can see the difference between just internet people and people that have done comedy live and i think it's like important to keep just get on stage yeah yeah the last thing we do is working it out for a cause and if there's a nonprofit, you guys like to contribute to i'll contribute to them and we'll link to them in the show notes wheels for meals that's not one <laughs> wheels is. for meals no it's not <laughs> john is that yours yeah that's for oil and stuff wheels okay so we're gonna wheels contribute to wheels <laughs> for meals <laughs> meals for wheels is that how it came up is that you were like what's our working a, it out for a cause gonna be yeah that is 100 okay how it came okay up. yeah <laughs> this is completely ridiculous <laughs> this is the most full circle that working it out for a cause has ever <laughs> been you made fun of john for like five minutes about this earlier and you yep. didn't mention nope. what the context was gonna wrap it up in the end you're motherfucking please don't destroy <laughs> like you do not fuck around <laughs> Oh. Geniuses, all of you. Every last one of you. Thanks for coming on, you guys. We love you. Ah, we lo yeah. I love you too. Huge, really, yeah. really genuine, huge fans for a long time. This is really yeah. cool.